In this video, we're going to go over the process of installing brush packs in 3D Coat. There are a few different ways that you could do this. One is to go to the upper right hand corner of the Alphas palette, click on the list menu toggle, and choose from this list of options. You can also store a variety of assets as a 3DC pack file. I'll demonstrate this a bit more later on. Let's look at some of the brush packs that you might access online. One is the XMD brushes from Michael Dunham. In total, it includes 150 brushes, and these will be separated into different categories, as you can see here. These are installed a little bit differently than the other packs that you might get elsewhere on his Gumro page. Most of these are ZBrush centric, but they also contain Photoshop files in the same folder. And with those, those Photoshop files, you can install those in 3D Coat without any problem at all. Okay, so you can sort through here and pick and choose the ones you want. And we will look at the process of installing them here in just a moment. Before I do, I want to mention the resource that you can also access here from 3D Coat. From the main page, just click on the Download tab. Scroll down a bit. You can click on the different resources you may want to peruse through. On the form, if you have registered and signed in, there is a section called the 3D Coat Exchange Library. And from here, you can access different assets that are available. So let's go back to 3D Coat now and look at installing these by going to the upper right hand corner of the Alphas palette. Click on the list menu toggle. And what I want to do is add from package. Before I do that, I want to go to a folder where I may have downloaded those assets. And they will typically be in zip form. So you extract those wherever you want to place them and then point to those pin packs here. I'll go to the upper right hand corner and I'm going to choose add alphas from package and I'll choose that one. Now the loading time will depend on the size of the file. Some of them have really large texture sizes such as 2K and 4K. Okay, so let's go ahead and inspect that one that we just installed. All right, they've all loaded in, and when I hover over a thumbnail, I'll see the size in that pop-up of the actual brush. As you can see, this one's quite large at 4K. Most of the ones you'll see in 3D Coat by default will be below 1K. Uh, some of them may be 2K. And we can continue that process by clicking here and repeating it until we have loaded all of our brushes. Another option is to point to a folder that already has image maps. You can actually load color image maps as well to be your brush, but in general, your brush alphas are going to be grayscale like this. This brush group was created using the 3D Brush Alpha tool with only two different rock models. I rotated the rocks to various angles to create different brushes from them. Let's click here. And we can choose use 3D model. I'm going to use some gator scales. You can rotate around different axes. Let's increase our brush size to 2K. We can zoom in. Just remember, it's going to be a circle, so you don't want to go too close to the edges because some of this is going to get cropped out. So maybe back it out once here. There we go. We can adjust the depth if we need to crop it a little bit. And if we need, we can actually rotate it. And that's what I did here with just a couple different rocks. I just rotated at different angles each time I created one. And let's go ahead and create it. There we go. Obviously, I don't want to place that in the rocks folder, but just for demonstration purposes, that's how you would go about creating it. And then you can right click 
and choose delete it if you want. Yes. The add new folder is the same as clicking here. Let's add an existing folder. I'll just double click. And all you have to do is just click on any one of the files here and 3D Coat will load the entire folder. It will adopt the name of the folder as well.